Hi, I am Manjit Dillon, the coordinator and instructor of the NAT program. Welcome to the NAT orientation. First of all, I am going to introduce you to the NAT staff. Marie Harris, the Dean of Instruction, Marcy Davidson, the Health Science Department Chair, and Manjit Dillon, that's me. And Suriz Chambers is our clinical instructor. Maria Silva is our counselor. Eve Castellano is our CalWORKs coordinator, and she will go over some of the CalWORKs eligibilities with you. And Kelly Murguia is our college nurse, and she will go over the health requirements for the program. And Annette Carrion is our administrative aide to Marie Harris. Okay, so I am going to tell you now a little bit about the NAT program. This course is designed to prepare our students as an entry-level workers, um, providing basic nursing care to the patients in acute hospitals and long-term care settings. So this curriculum is structured to provide you with the theory, which is called NAT 102, and application that application in the skills, and NAT 103 clinical that's needed to function as a nursing assistant. And the students are required to take a st state certification at the completion of the course. And you will be helped with that. Okay. And the schedule of the program is, first of all, location of the class will be at Palm Village Community in Ridley and in, on the ground level. And parking is available along the street. This is very important to remember not to park on uh, Palm Village's designated parking area. So the th time of the theory uh, days are Monday through Thursday, and the time is 4 p.m. to 8 p.m. And the clinical time is Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, same 4 p.m. to 8 p.m. And clinical begins after eight weeks of theory instructions. That means we will finish theory, eight weeks of theory first, and then we will start clinical. And clinical also is provided at the Palm Village facility in the um, skilled nursing department. Uh, class schedule is subject to change, uh, but uh, you know not always if something happens. And now I'm going to give you the course information um, and the required tests. So students are required to pass 16 state tests and also the final test at the end. So all 16 state tests must be passed with a 70% or higher grade. So three, ch uh, and also three chances will be allowed to make up for a failed test. That means if you failed one test, you will have only one chance to make up for that test. And after three tests, you will be given one chance to make up um, for the failed test. And you cannot make up for the, you know, repeat the failed test. Like if you have failed one test already and you, and you failed the same test again, you cannot make up for that. And each test covers several chapters in your textbook. And that means this requires time for reading and assignments due for the next day. And students must meet, again, 70% of or higher grade. And from each module, there are 16 modules, so each module's test you need to pass with 70% or higher grade. And not the whole class you have to maintain 70% or higher uh, grade. Because these are the state tests. Um, students who do not meet this will be terminated from the program. And also 100% attendance is required. And so two makeup days are allowed for theory and clinical. And two excused absence are allowed in theory and clinic for something happens, so you will be covered. And the material and fees for the class, um, you must come prepared to class on the very first day and check for announcements on Canvas. Everything will be posted on Canvas, all 16 modules and what is due on the first day of the class. And all the materials and textbook must be purchased before the first day of the class through the Ridley College uh, Bookstore. So Ridley College Bookstore will have your textbook and you don't need to have workbook. Please make a note. You only need a textbook, not a workbook, 
and also there is a NAT binder that you need to buy that's only available at the Ridley College Bookstore. Textbook you can buy from Amazon wherever you want, but it, it will be available on, uh, Ridley, uh, in Ridley College Bookstore. And if you're having problem buying a book, and uh, your textbook, and you are not qualified for a financial aid or CalVERX program, uh, you know, for some reasons, and you can always contact me before the class starts to make arrangements. I can contact the previous class students to, you know, connect you with the previous class student so you can buy a used book from them. So also you need a gate belt and blood pressure check kit. Blood pressure check kit includes a blood pressure cuff stethoscope and they come together in one case. Uh, they will be allowed at the bookstore again, but you're welcome to buy it anywhere you want. And students must dress in uniform starting week four, and the uniforms will be ordered in class. I will call the vendor to come to the class and take your measurements and then order the uniform. So you don't have to worry about ordering uniform before coming to class. So the estimated cost for the whole program is about $840.99. This is not a uh, you know, exact amount, but it's just estimated amount. And it will not be more than this, maybe less than this. So the list of the es estimated costs is live scan fingerprints, which is $52. And liability insurance is $23 that also I will help in the class to apply for a liability insurance. A textbook is $84 and you don't need a workbook. Um, I need to delete this from here. And red binder, which is also called NAT information binder, and that you will buy it from only Ridley College Bookstore, and that's $26.25. Registration fee, uh, is $345 and that sh should be exact because you will have 7.5 units and $46 uh, dollars per um, unit. And the Ridley College health fee is $21. Everybody uh, will have to pay that. Um, and two uniform sets are $60. For both of them, white shoe is about $40 and you can buy expensive than more expensive shoes or less expensive shoes it's up to you but they need to be white non-skid shoes no holes on or mesh material on the top they should be closed up uh, toes and heels and watch very important with second hand not a digital watch and um, Ridley College nursing assistant supply package includes gait belt, a blood pressure cuff, and a stethoscope, which is $36.99 at the bookstore. And state board testing fee is $105. That will be collected uh, after you start the program, not before the program. You don't have to pay that before. And physical exam is not a college referred. And so that means you will have to go to your physic, you know, physician, primary physician, get that done. And Miss Kelly, our college nurse, will go over that again. And TB test, you need to have done MMR, two series of MMR required. And Miss Kelly again will go on those uh, nursing, uh, sorry, health requirements, <clears throat> legal requirements. So there is a one form in your package. Uh, you need will when you download the package you will need to fill that out um, it's called a declaration of conviction or no conviction so if you have any conviction please make sure you do not mark no and if you don't have any penal code uh, apply to applying to you or a conviction then uh, check no uh, you don't just check no because you will not be uh, available sorry you will not be able to take a state test because we remember we need to do a fingerprint and they will be sent to a Department of Justice Department of Justice will send the clearance to the state 
um, then you it will be decided that you can take a state test you just have to do your fingerprints and I will help you with that all that is done behind the screen you know curtain you don't have to do anything else um, so if you marked no but you have a penal code uh, you will be disqualified from taking a state test so make sure that you're all clear before you apply for the program in case you have any um, you know penal code applying to you um, contact the uh, justice department and make sure that you are cleared and then you should have papers documents that show that you have a clearance requirements of for fingerprinting or live scan as I mentioned before that will be done in the class um, at Palm Village during the second week of semester and the cost for that is $52 and they do accept cash or a check but no credit card because they bring their mobile station they don't have a machine with them that's the reason for that and you must have your photo ID and uh, your photo ID and you should remember your social security number if you don't remember please bring your social security card with you they don't need to see your social security card but they need to see your photo ID and they need your social security number to fill the form they will assist you or I will assist you to fill the um, to uh, filling the form for that and also it's very important that your first and last name on your social security card I'm sorry your first name if you have a middle name that also first name middle name last name on your social security card and your uh, photo ID which will be your driver's license or your passport so they the names on both IDs must match otherwise you can pass the class with me but you will not be able to take a state test so let me know if you have you know any discrepancies your name on social security and id is not matching there's a way you can correct it and uh, just to let you know the name correction is easier on the license than the social security card it takes less time um, again name must be identical this is very important please do not forget check your names even before you are going to fill the application for this program and as I said the live scan fingerprints are sent to uh, Department of Justice for approval then you will be approved to take a test okay. and uh, now Miss Eve will go over the uh, CalWORKs um, eligibilities with you and we will go next and then uh, Maria Silva will go over the RC counseling services uh, more in detail and then testing service also and the Kelly uh, Murguia is our college nurse as I said before she will go over the health requirements with you so once you have heard from everyone what good afternoon my name is Eve Castellanos and I'm the CalWORKs coordinator here at Reedley College. I'm gonna to talk to you about some of the student service programs so you can know about some of the various options and services that exist um, that might be able to help you advance your educational goal. Um, what's important to know is that each of the student service programs have different eligibility criteria um, and we all do things um, related to support services a little bit differently. You can Call any of our offices to find out if you qualify and to learn more about our services. Um, so we have several different types of student service programs on the Reedley College campus. And the first one that I want to let you know about is the CalWORKs program. I will talk to you more about the CalWORKs program in just a minute. But I do want to let you know that we have a Disabled Student Program and Services, DSPNS, and they offer academic and supportive services to students who have documented physical, mental health, or learning challenges. Um, 
and they offer different kinds of services, including academic counseling, tutoring services, and they can also assist with some forms of transportation around our campus. We also have Extended Opportunity Program and Services, or ESPNS, and CARE. Um, EOPNS, we also have the Extended Opportunity Program and Services, or EOPNS. EOPS offers services including academic counseling and advising. Um, they can help you um, purchase your um, recommended and your required textbooks and supplies for your classes if you qualify. They also offer assistance in the form of um, incentives and grants to assist students as they're going to school. Um, and they also have a component called CARE. CARE is a part of EOPNS, um, and CARE offers supportive services to students who are parents. Um, EOPNS also has a program called Next Up. Next Up offers supportive services to uh, students who are were formerly in the foster youth system. All of the services provided through EOPNS um, are intended to help students advance their educational goals. If you are interested or want to learn more about EOPNS, you should um, give their office a call. You can reach them by calling 6380300. We also have the Student Success Services Program, or TRIO. Um, and TRIO is intended to help first generation or and low income or disabled students advance their educational goals. Um, some of the services they offer include academic advising, career planning, they have student success workshops, they can help you with financial aid information as well as financial literacy information. They um, offer assistance with transferring if you are interested in pursuing a degree at a, a four-year university and they also host college campus tours. Um, if you are interested in learning more about the TRIO program, you should call 638-0300, extension 3526. Um, I just wanna remind you that all of these services, again, have different eligibility criteria, but if you qualify, you can participate in more than one student service program while you're a student at Reedley College. I said I'd talk to you more about the CalWORKS program. The CalWORKS program um, exists to help students who are also parents become financially self-sufficient and gainfully employed by achieving their educational goals. Um, so we help students who are parents and are currently receiving cash aid from the counties of Fresno, Madera, or Tulare. In order to qualify for our services, you must be a parent and you must be receiving cash assistance from any of the counties that I mentioned for yourself and for your children. Supportive services that we offer through the CalWORKS program include academic and personal counseling, childcare, priority registration. We can assist you in procuring your required textbooks and supplies. Um, we offer assistance with transportation in the form of shuttle passes, a flat rate if you live in the city of Reedley, or mileage reimbursement if you live outside of Reedley. We also offer referrals to on and off campus services, um, including tutoring, math, and the Math and Writing Center. Um, we have a peer group for CalWORKS students called CalWORKS Best. And we can also do referrals to off-campus food and housing programs. To access our services, if you live in Fresno County, please contact your Fresno County job specialist and ask to be referred to the Reedley College CalWORKS program. Um, we would request um, that you attend one of the orientations, and those orientations are offered twice a month um, here on the Reedley College campus. Um, and after you participate in an orientation, we would set you up um, with an intake appointment with one of the CalWORKS counselors. They will help you develop a student education plan or SEP, and they'll also help you enroll 
in your classes um, and they'll help you complete the paperwork um, if you are going to pursue a certificate or a degree in the nurse's assistant training program. If you are from Tulare and you are interested in participating in our program, you should contact your self-sufficiency worker, um, ask to be referred to Reedley College. They're going to provide you with a referral form. Um, you should um, bring that referral form um, to the Reedley College CalWORKs office. You can bring it in or you can call to make an appointment prior to when you come in. Um, and someone will assist you in making an appointment for an intake um, with a CalWORKs counselor who will then develop a student education plan or an SCP and assist you in enrolling in your classes or in this case completing the application packet for the nurses, assi nurses assistant training program. Um, many of these services if you don't qualify for one of the uh, student service programs that I just talked about you can still obtain counseling and advising services through the counseling department. And one of our counselors is going to talk with you in just a minute about how you can access those services. Thank you and good luck with advancing your educational goal at Reedley College. Hello, this is Maria Silva, academic counselor from Ridley College. Today I'm going to be talking about the importance of our counseling services that we offer here for students like yourselves. As we can see on the slides here, we have uh, my name, which is Maria Silva. I am currently our CTE academic counselor at Ridley College. My office location, please note this, it is located in the Industrial Technology Room 15. We also have uh, our general academic counselor, Dilia Gutierrez. Her location is in Student Services Building. To schedule an appointment, our phone number is 638-0337. You can also schedule an appointment by clicking on the link here below where it says via online counseling appointments. It is very important that you meet with either myself or with Dilia or any academic counselor that is available the soonest. You wanna make sure that you get support as soon as possible. Some important basic definitions that I do wanna go over very quickly are here in the green bolt, advisories, prerequisites, major requirements. Advisories are highly recommended. Prerequisites must complete prior to the next course. And it's important to note for all of our major requirements for the NAT program, you must pass with a C grade or higher. Here you will find a major sheet for nursing assistant training certificate of achievement. Here is a very visual overall of our requirements, food and nutrition, health, NAT 102, 103, NAT 104, or OT 10. And just like it says, select at least one English course from the following. As of spring 2019, the course for English that will continue to be offered is English 1A. However, if in the past you have completed any of the other English classes showing on here, for example, like English 125, 126, 128, 130, you can still get credit if you have already completed those with the secret or higher. However, as of spring 2019, which starts in January, the only option will be English 1A. This is a very um, useful handout to keep in mind that way you know what requirements are required another note on here if you look at the code that says r.4510.ca that's the code that us as counselors we enter into your academic file that way when you get ready to apply for your certificate it'll show up on your web advisor account so overall just make sure that when you meet with an academic counselor um, you remind us to include your uh, major code on your file. If we proceed to the next slide, we will find an example of what a student education plan looks like. 
Notice here this particular student decided to take English 1A, Health 1, Food and Nutrition 40, and they have the option of OT10 or NAT104 um, with a total units of 13 for the spring of 19. In the fall of 19, they will proceed with their NAT courses, NAT102, NAT103. Overall, this is a very clear um, visual of what your plan can look like. Everyone has their own particular situation, which is why it's important to meet with an academic counselor so we can evaluate your transcript and um, basically type a plan that's um, unique to your situation. Another note on here that you can see is the importance of reapplying for financial aid. Our application for the year 1920 opened up October 1st, and that could be for either financial aid applicants or DREAM Act application. You can definitely go by to our financial aid office and get support with applying for financial aid. Another important um, deadline is March 2nd as well for the Ridley College Scholarship. We are highly encouraging students to apply. There's a lot of opportunity, a lot of resources that sometimes our students are not aware of. So keep in mind, March 2nd is a key deadline every academic year. Another important item is to check your Ridley College email so you know when you can start adding your classes for the spring of 19. Everyone gets a registration um, notice indicating a date. From that day forward, you can add your classes. Making sure you follow up with an academic counselor is very, very important. But overall, this is an example of an education plan. Now if we proceed, if there's any student that has yet to apply to Ridley College, this is a good checkoff list of our enrollment steps. As you can see, the first thing you need to do is apply to Ridley College. Second step would be to activate your web advisor and email, and I'll show you in a bit how to log into those two accounts. Completing your online orientation is very important as well. For testing, definitely um, scheduling an appointment if that's the route that you will be taking for your math and English placement. Overall, we do have some English and math updates for the spring of 19, which I will be directing you to a link that you can read the updates for math and English. For counseling and advisement, just making sure you schedule an appointment with one of our counselors or myself. Financial aid, visiting our financial aid office is very important. Registration for NAT, I really want to make something clear. For registration, if you're enrolling into our actual NAT courses, which would be NAT 102 and 103, you will not be able to add those two classes online. You will be meeting with Manjeet, who is our NAT instructor, and she will give you an ad slip to deliver to the admission office for your NAT 102 and 103 to be enrolled. However, for other classes like your English, your food and nutrition, your health, your OT10, those you should be able to add on WebAdvisor. Unless you have a hold, like for example, if you have a hold from business office, they will hold back from you being able to add classes online. Or if you have a hold due to being on academic probation, etc. Registration is very important. Please note again, for NAT 102, 103, you will be getting an ad slip from Manji once you turn in all of your documents necessary for clearance. Paying your fees is very important. Uh, making sure that you check with business office if you owe anything. Oftentimes students fail to pay their $21 fee. That's every semester, which includes your health center services. So making sure you pay that on time. That way you avoid the rush of having to pay last minute or even being at risk of being dropped if things are not paid. Buying your books and parking permit. Our parking permit is $30 at the moment per semester and 10 during the summer. Your education plan, which we have touch bases on, very important. And following up at least once or twice a semester, um, very important. 
And lastly, just making sure you attend class, uh, making sure that you are on time, making sure that you overall um, have everything you need for day one of class. Now if we proceed, here's an example of what you would use as username and password to log into WebAdvisor, Canvas, and our campus Wi-Fi. Everyone gets an ID number and that ID number will be used as a username. And here's an example of a password and just like it says on here for John Smith who was born on January 1st, 1997, his password would be JS010197. Making sure that you log into WebAdvisor, that's how you will be able to do your online orientation. Canvas is important, especially because in some of your classes, you will be using this um, software and teachers will let you know in class. So overall, just be aware that's how you log in to the three items here. For your email, here you have an example. Overall, just making sure you use your ID number at my.sccc d.edu, same password as you use for your web advisor. Making sure you check your email on a daily basis. This is how our campus communicates. This is where you get your registration day. That way you know from what day forward you can start adding your classes. Overall, very, very um, handy if you even download the app into your phone so that you can have um, access to your email on a daily basis through your phone. That would be highly recommended. If, if students don't have a technology at home, we also have our library that has computers and you can utilize our computers on campus to check your email every day as you're here on campus as well. So just keep a note of that. For testing services, I want to make sure that all of us read the updates for English and math and you can click on the link here below to read the updates for English and math. Overall, for math and English as of spring of 2019, students will be um, having the option of taking English 1A and any transfer level math that's an option. It's important to meet with our academic counseling services to identify um, your particular situation and what is best advised. Overall for our NAT program it's English 1A, therefore that's what you would need for NAT program. Click on the link, that way you can read further as far as our updates for English and math. If students are taking a placement test, um, they do need to make an appointment and you would click on the link that's here right below. Um, as far as our testing location, it's in the Humanities Building, room 59. Our phone number for testing services is 638-0108, making sure you bring a valid photo ID and being there 15 minutes early. For your counseling appointment, make sure that you are on time. Make sure you ask to get a copy of your student education plan and making sure you um, remind the academic counselor, which it could be myself or anyone else, to update your major code on file, making sure that you have the appropriate major code. And overall, just make sure you register for classes according to your registration date and making sure you visit our financial aid office to understand your financial aid options, which is very important um, overall. Ask a lot of questions as you meet with us and as you continue here at Ridley College. What I would like to do next is go through our Ridley homepage and just show you a little of what we have. Here you can see we have the My Portal link. This is the fastest way to log into everything all together, which includes your web advisor, your email. I'm gonna show you just as an example 
I'm going to log in with my account. Now, here you would type your ID number and your password. For me, it looks a little different. Making sure you select the student bubble versus employee bubble. Okay, now here you have access to your web advisor for those of you that are going to do your online orientation. You will also have access to so let's go ahead and go through WebAdvisor. Okay. So you would go through Students menu, making sure you log in. Sometimes our system fails to log you in. Just click on Login. Okay. So for students that are doing their online orientation, you will click Online Orientation. And you would go to Enroll in Course. Go to course. Okay. Now, for someone that has already completed their orientation, you will see the green check already. However, if students have not completed, they would have to proceed through each step. That's for the online orientation. So again, you go through Web Advisor, go to Students menu, making sure you log in, and making sure you click on the online orientation link. Checking your address, your email, making sure that's up to date, very important. If students are trying to add a class, for example, like English 1A, or classes that you could add online, you would click here, select the term, location would be Ridley College, then you would select your English. You can sort this down to English 1A, <laughs> your let's see, your health. <clears throat> your OT10 now for health making sure you click on the appropriate one and it's health one and for food and nutrition we will sort that out in a bit So making sure you are aware of being able to read all this information. If you look here, that's the available seats for this particular English class. Out of 30, waitlisted at the moment is zero. Some of these English classes have a core requisite of English 205. What is English 205? English 205 is a support class for students that overall um, would like to take um, this support. So for example, if I take English 1A and I have a paper in there, the paper might be difficult and during English 205 I would get extra support to complete my essay. So making sure that you're aware some of these have a core requisite of English 205. So you would click on the English that works for your schedule and you would click on the health class that works for your schedule, the OT10 that works for your schedule, you would add to the cart and then you would find the courses that you would want to register. I have a lot in my cart. But overall, you would then submit. That's the final step. Now, to double check and make sure your class is added, go back to your schedule and select the appropriate term to verify. And you should see here courses that you have enrolled into. Now, for food and nutrition, I would like for us to take a step back and go 
here again and let's look and see if food and nutrition pops up or if it's only online. Let's see what's going to happen for spring of 19. No classes meeting the search criteria has have been found. So let's try 100% online. We see food and nutrition 40, which is 100% online. So that means this class will be 100% online. You click on the bubble to look further. You can click on the link and you should read students must check their Canvas account by the first day of the semester. Failure to do so may result in a student being dropped from the course. Please email your instructor for further information. Because it's an online class, you need to make sure you follow the instructions that are written here. Now, overall, again, making sure you check your class schedule. For NAT, the courses, you will add those by dropping an ad slip to the admission office. My GR NAT instructor will be giving you an ad slip once you turn in all your documents that she requires for the program entrance. So I want to I want to show you quickly what are the times for the NAT classes in the spring. So if we look at nursing assistant training you're going to actually select off campus because the classes for NAT are actually off campus and the times are here for NAT 102, it's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday from 4 to 7.50. And NAT 103 starts in March through May from 4 to 7.50. NAT 102 is the first part of the semester and after you proceed to NAT 103. Now, these classes, when you try to add them online, it's not going to let you because you need to take an ad slip to admissions office. Other important items, you can check your financial aid award through here by clicking and checking the academic year. I don't have anything in my file, but that's how you would check. If financial aid needs documents from you, they will place them under my documents. Overall though, making sure you go in person and verifying, that way you make sure you have everything turned in. You can pay your fees through here online, view and pay on my account. For example, you would type in your ID number. I'm going to log in with my account and students can pay their fees online, which is very handy. Or you can go in person to the business office, which is located in our student services building. This will reroute you to the business um, account for here at our campus and you will see what's pending making sure you double check on your particular account I'll let that run but you will be able to see here you can make a payment through here and last but not least overall if you're on a waitlist for any class making sure you're checking your email they will notify you if you move up into an actual um, possibility to add once you're on a waitlist and you would go to manage waitlist and they would tell you an expiration date. By that date then you would need to add the class if you have been notified by email. That's Web Advisor, making sure you log out anywhere you log in on campus. Now, the other item that I will go over briefly is the importance of utilizing our campus services. So just making sure that you're aware online you can go through here and look at our transfer services, look at our tutorial services, our trio support services, our career employment center, 
our child development center testing services so as you can see here we have a lot of different services on campus making sure that you take advantage of all that to make sure that you have everything you need to complete your goal here at Ridley College. Thank you for your time. Overall, ask a lot of questions and you have a great day. Hi, my name is Kelly Mergia. I'm the school nurse on campus. Um, I'm here to talk about the health requirements for the NAT program. Um, congratulations on wanting to be into this field. It's a great field. I'm very excited for all of those um, students interested in the nursing profession. Um, I've been a nurse for oh, almost 15 years now, and I've worked in a variety of um, jobs and professions, and nursing is one of those professions where you can change it up if you want. I've started in pediatrics, and then I went into a little bit of emergency medicine, and then I did um, some women's health. That was um, in the last 10 years. I've done mostly women's health, and now I'm in school nursing. So um, welcome to the program. I'm excited for you. If you have any questions, you can always see me. I'm in the health center. Um, the health office is located in the Student Services Building. We're open Monday through Friday, 8 to 5, and you can either call or come on by and um, schedule an appointment or come talk to me. Now we'll go ahead and get into the health requirements. So the first health requirement um, for the NAT program is a physical exam. This is where you're going to need to see your primary doctor and have a physical. It needs to be current within a year, and if you are pregnant, then it needs to be you need to be, have a clearance through your OBGYN. Um, if you do not have a physician or you do not have insurance, feel free to come into the health office. I can help get you connected to um, a clinician, or I can connect you to a, a low-cost clinic. A lot of times, clinics will offer sliding fee scales if you do not have insurance, and they will um, charge a limited amount for um, the one-time visit. So that is the first requirement of physical exam. The next one is uh, the MMR vaccine. MMR stands for measles, mumps, and rubella. This vaccine is given in childhood. It's a two series. Usually you get it at 12 months and then you'll get it again around four or five years old before you start kindergarten. So I would just need a record that shows you've received both of these vaccines for clearance. If you do not know if you've had them or not, if you cannot find a record, um, your immunization card, anything like that that shows you've had these vaccines, then there's a couple options you can do. You can um, follow up with your primary doctor and have them draw what's called a titer. It's a blood test that will show if you're immune to measles, mumps, or rubella. Um, or you can go ahead and get the vaccine again and have the series started all over. Um, if you do not have insurance or a doctor, you can come see me in the health office and I can send you to Quest Diagnostics to have the titer drawn. Um, but I do not have the vaccine in the office, so if you do need the vaccine, you'd have to follow up with a clinic um, to have the vaccine given. So MMR is your second requirement. Um, the third requirement is a TB skin test, and these are done in the health office, and they are free, so feel free to come in for the TB test. Now, the first um, requirement for the TB test is it needs to be current, so it needs to be done within 90 days of starting clinical. So when you start your clinical, it will probably be about six to eight weeks into the program, so just keep that in mind. It needs to be current within 90 days for you to have the TB skin test. Um, there are some risk assessments that will go through some questions, but most health professionals will need a TB skin test um, if they're gonna be working in a hospital or working in uh, high, with high-risk populations. So that's the third requirement. Um, if you're not able to come into the health office to have the TB test done with me, you can always get it done through your provider, your uh, family practice doctor, or you can have, um, have an appointment in Fresno with the health department. They also give free TB skin tests. So any of those options are available. And then the last requirement for the NAT program is the flu vaccine. Now, depending on when flu season occurs, there, um, they will be given from the months of August through March. So um, some clinicians will get the flu vaccine as early as August. I usually get mine in September or October. So you can always come to the health office on campus to receive the flu vaccine. It's free. Um, if you have insurance, you can get it through your primary doctor. You can also go through Walgreens or Rite Aid. If you have insurance, they'll also um, give you the flu vaccine for free or for a low copay. Um, the Fresno Public Department of Health also has um, flu vaccines. The most current price for them were six, was $6. That's how much they charged um, last year. Some 
years, they do get a higher amount of flu vaccine, so they are able to not charge at all. So you can call the health department if you are interested in getting it there, your primary doctor, or again, you can get it in the health office, um, and it is free um, on campus in the health office. So just to recap, there's four health requirements. Physical exam needs to be done by a physician. The MMR vaccine, I need proof of um, two vaccine injections. The TB skin test, current within 90 days, you can have that done free in the health office. And then the flu vaccine, depending on when the flu season starts, it needs to be given sometime between August, September, and March. And those are also free in the health office. So if you have any questions, um, you can feel free to call our health office. The number is 638-0328 and ask for either Kelly or Paula. Paula is my secretary and I am the school nurse. You can ask for me as well. And if you have any questions, feel free to email me or call me. My email is kelly, K-E-L-L-Y, dot Mergia, M-U-R-G-U-I-A, at Reedley College, all one word, dot E-D-U. Thank you. So once you think you have all your documents ready, please make sure to check if you have two applications filled out with black ink, only black pen. You can fill that with your initial application, which is called 283B form. So make sure you um, print two copies of this form and black uh, fill, fill out both copies with only black ink. And please remember, do not sign this form. You will sign this form with me after I have checked all your package that it's well done. Okay, so make sure you have two of those application filled out with black ink and do not scribble on the form. If you do that, you will have to do all over it again. You cannot correct by scribbling on the form. And physical exam report, which will be completed by your medical doctor. And MMR immunization, two series of, verified by college nurse already. So you have to complete all the forms and call and make an appointment with college nurse, Ms. Kelly. And when she approves all your health requirements, then you will make an appointment with me. And I prefer you to contact me by email. That's faster than calling. So we won't be playing phone tag because I am not always in my office. So let's say you have completed everything and you met with uh, the nurse and the nurse okays you, then you will meet me and make sure before you come to me, you have your physical exam report ready, MMR immunization, which is verified by a nurse already, and TB skin test also should be verified by the college nurse already. And you must have your social security card, original and copy, and if you uh, because that copy needs to go in your file and I need to see your orig original card and also you need to have your government issued photo ID card which will be your driver's uh, license if you don't have one you might have a California photo ID or your passport and once your package is ready please schedule an appointment with me you can call me and leave me a message my extension is 3218 um, no walk-ins will be accepted, but as I said before, please um, email me to make an appointment. And these steps to check if your papers are or your documents are ready are also on student check-off list in your package. So make sure you go by that, please. And this is this is the. Uh, screenshot of the 283B form that you will be downloading from the website and filling out with black ink only. And you're supposed to sign here, not over here, but please do not sign before seeing me because you're only supposed to sign with the red pen. I know you will forget once you're filling, you know, start filling and you want, you will forget that you need a red pen, you will sign it with black. <laughs> that happens all the time. So... Now, how to access the NAT forms on the website? So these are the steps. You will go to Ridley College website. Um, 
like this type it in your browser and then once it opens you will click on academics and then click on career technical education and then click on nursing assistant training that once you click on career technical education if you're not familiar with this site on the right side uh, right lower end you, when you scroll down you will find this nursing assistant training program so go um, as I said already this is just, uh, go to the middle of the screen to access the file following form so once you clicked on a nursing assistant training and then kind of the in the middle of the screen you will find these forms they're hyperlinked so NAT initial application print two copies again plain white paper only do not use colored paper and there is a form uploaded it's called physical exam form and then MMR immunization form and a TB skin test so please print all those download them on your computer and print them and then fill this form out as I instructed already and then take these forms to your uh, primary physicians they will be completed by them and then you will make appointment with nurse again so everything all these three forms need to be verified by college nurse and then you will make appointment with me and if you have any questions um, please feel free to email me and so I can uh, answer your um, you know, questions. Or you can call Miss Kelly. Um, she will provide you with her number. Thank you for watching NAT Orientation. And uh, please uh, work on completing your papers.